Okay, let's look at these initial problems. All they want to know is the period and amplitude. Period. You'll notice right here because it says pi, these are in terms of radians. So our formula is 2 pi divided by b. b is what's ever in front of the x there. So we have 2 pi divided by pi thirds. How do we divide by a fraction? We flip n times. The pi's cancel and I'm left with 6. So I have a period of 6, and the amplitude is always the absolute value of that. Amplitude is a distance. So don't write negative 3, you'll get it wrong. You need to have positive 3. All right, now let's learn how to graph. All right, so let's learn how to graph. All right, so let's figure out a couple things. I've got a cosine wave, but it's also negative. So I know if I have a cosine wave, it looks like this. That would be if it's positive. But ours is negative. So that means we'll, we'll start low. Now Clarkson and TJ Maddox, please come to the office. And end low. So let's go ahead and figure out our period. Notice our axis is in radians. So we have 2 pi divided by 2, which is pi. So there's our period. Grab your plot tool. And because it's negative, we're going to start low and look at the amplitude. So at negative 2 and a half, here we are. And then we know we have a whole cosine wave in pi. So I would be up and back down, and I'd end here. Halfway in between these, we know we would be at our max at two and a half. And then at the quarters, we know we would be at midline. Grab your connect the dot tool. If you don't have a nice pretty wave, you know you did something wrong. All right, let's do another. Okay, sine wave. We know sine wave looks like this. And it happens to be positive, so we know we are going to go up first and then back down. Let's figure out our period, or in terms of radians. So 2 pi divided by b, which in this case is 2 thirds. Remember, we just flip n times. I like to reduce, and I get 3 pi. So I'm going to grab my plot tool here. You know we start at 0. And then we know we need to go up do, do, and be back at 0 at 3 pi. Halfway in between those, we were back at 0. And then halfway, or our quarters, we know we are at maximum of 3 halves, 1 and a half. We are at the minimum, 1 and a half. Connect your dots. Let's do another one. The more we do, the better it gets, right? Okay, positive co cosine wave. And we know we're going to look like this. Let's figure out our period. Again, we're in radians. 2 pi divided by 3 fourths. Flip n times. And we get 8 thirds pi. Because of the way our scale's written, I'm going to choose to look at this as 2 and 2 thirds pi. Okay, grab your plotting tool. Cosine, we know we're going to start high at our amplitude of 3. There it is. We know we're going to end at 2 and 2 thirds pi. And notice it counts in 6 here, so I just need to go 1, 2, 3, 4. And we know we're going to be back at our maximum. Halfway in between those, and you can legit count the hash marks if you need to and split that. We know we would be at our low point. And then halfway in between those, we are at 
midline at our quarters. All right, connect your dots. Good, one more, why not? All right, sine wave, it's a negative. Actually kind of glad that one showed up. So we know sine wave would traditionally start at midline and go up and down, but because it's negative, we know we're going to have this orientation going on. All right, let's figure out our period. 2 pi divided by 2 is pi. Let's grab our plot tool. I know I'm going to start here. And at pi, I would be back at midline. Halfway in between those, we're at zero again. Negative sign, I need to go down one and a half. And then on this one, I need to be up one and a half. Connect your dots, it fills that in for you. I hope this was helpful. Save your questions. For